So last week, if you guys remember, we built a brand new gaming PC for my sister. It's a very special build as it was based on AMD's next-gen hardware where we used their brand new Ryzen 7000 series CPU paired with Radeon 6000 series GPU and also went with their brand new platform X670A. And it was like a killer PC, I would say, guys. You'll have to watch that video in case if you missed it. Link will be in the card above. Now, keeping that aside, whenever you build a gaming PC on a unified platform, for example, I've told you, right, it's like an all AMD system both CPU and GPU are from AMD then you actually unlock like certain features and technologies for example you get access to like smart access memory resizable bar support AMD's FSR technology and also plenty of other features and these software solutions right like greatly boost your gaming performance without actually you know investing any extra amount a lot of people actually build AMD systems at their home right but people don't actually enable these software features either from their BIOS or in-game settings and they're actually not fully utilizing the potential of the hardware. So in this video, I'm going to tell you like all the advantages and benefits of enabling these AMD software solutions and what kind of performance benefits you can see. I'm telling you, right, you get like huge performance boost just by enabling the simple settings in the game. And one more great thing is you don't specifically need AMD hardware only for these uh, technologies, guys. For example, look at AMD's FSR technology. It's an open source technology. This will work even on other brand GPUs also as long as the GPU supports DirectX 11. So uh, that is actually a pretty cool thing. So basically we're going to go in depth and talk about all these brand new technologies in the video. So first of all let's start with what exactly is FSR. FSR stands for Fidelity FX Super Resolution. It's basically an open source technology guys and you know it's, it, it's like an upscaling technology that greatly boosts your frame rate in a game without actually compromising the image quality and in certain scenarios night actually offers like uh, similar to native or even better than native image quality in certain scenarios so amd introduced fsr way back in june 2021 i believe and since then the brand has been like constantly working on this feature technology and they've done like lots of upgrades and improvements and finally come up with fsr 2.0 as well so as i've told you fsr basically is like a software based solution like it's like an upscaling technology Technology that greatly boosts your frame rates and with the addition of FSR 2.0 they finally move from spatial upscaling to a temporal upscaling technology and since this is like an open source platform it's like very easy for the developers to work with this technology and implement it in their games right now so many games support FSR guys almost like 110 plus and includes all the popular titles like God of War Assassin's Creed Valhalla Microsoft Flight Simulator and also Cyberpunk plenty of games support support these technologies guys. Basically FSR2 uses a cutting edge temporal algorithms to reconstruct the whole fine geometric and texture details in games and produces like an anti-aliased output from an aliased input. The main goal of FSR 2.0 was to offer like better and improved image quality compared to the previous gen FSR 1.0 and they are definitely showing results. Today in this video right we'll definitely be doing a lot of tests so we'll be using the same PC I'll be borrowing that gaming PC from my sister and we'll be playing a couple of games and I'll actually show you what sort of improvements and results you can get when you enable these AMD related technologies and I've told you right it's like free anybody can use this because it's open source works on other GPUs also so simply by enabling this you can get like massive improvements and results so before we actually dive into the benchmarks and check out the whole results now let me quickly tell you like what exactly is new in FSR 2.0 main thing is the upscaling technology has been moved from spatial upscaling scaling to temporal level up scaling and this you know delivers like similar or better than native image quality where it uses temporal data and algorithms to work on this feature and yes it definitely offers higher image quality compared to FSR1 and now dynamic resolution scaling is also supported and best part is now it's not hardware dependent you don't exactly need like a dedicated AMD GPU only it's like cross-platform compatible and it's also open source. Alright, without wasting any more time, let's get into the benchmarks and see what AMD's FSR can do. We'll be playing a couple of newest AAA titles that got support for FSR 2.0 and then check out the difference. Starting off with our all-time favorite God of War. By the way, we are having AMD's Radeon RX 6700 GPU on my sister's PC and we've already seen like what this card is capable of. Targeted for all the 1440p gamers with 10 gigs of memory at a very affordable price tag of only around 33 to 34,000. 
thousand rupees. So right now we are playing this game at 1440p resolution and graphics have been maxed out at ultra settings and FSR is also turned off. And as you can see on an average we were getting around 65 to 68 FPS. And that is actually pretty good on its own. Now keeping all the graphics settings same, let's enable FSR and check out the difference. By the way you get a couple of modes to choose from over here like performance mode is there, balanced mode, quality and ultra quality. You can choose it as per your requirement but let me just set it to balanced mode because I personally prefer quality and performance should go hand in hand. So let's just quickly set it to that and play the game. Oh my god, are you guys looking at that footage? Now that is the kind of difference I was talking about. From 65 FPS on an average to see the 105 FPS guys when FSR enabled. That's a huge gain in the frame rate. And also remember the resolution is 1440p and all the graphics have been maxed out. What? A mid-range GPU like 6700 offering this good gaming performance at such an affordable price tag? Now this is like every gamer's dream out there. Now that was the case with 1440p. Imagine at 1080p level of resolution guys, muska performance you can expect. That too without compromising the image quality. And to show you the difference right, what I'll do is I'll just do like a side by side comparison with FSR off, FSR on and FSR 2.0 as well in death loop game. As you can see right now we're in the quality mode settings and image looks quite similar to the native one but frame rate has been almost doubled guys and let me tell you based on my experience it was actually quite hard to notice the difference between FSR 2.0 image and the native one. AMD has done a good job over here. Same was the case with Cyberpunk 2077 as well just have a look at that. Okay, moving on, remember at the beginning I've told you that AMD also offers certain software features on their Adrenaline app. These can be like very useful especially if you're like a streamer or maybe a gamer. The first feature I'd like to talk about is AMD's noise suppression. Again though for this feature to work you'll need a minimum of Radeon 6000 series GPUs or something newer than that. It uses a deep learning algorithm that reduces the background noise in your audio making your voice sound more clear and audible. This feature can be of great help for streamers especially when you're in a noisy environment with a lot of background disturbances. And apart from that Adrenaline software also offers you some stuff like Radeon Anti-Lag is there, Radeon Boost and Radeon Image Sharpening as well which you can make use on AMD's hardware. Well that is pretty much it guys, time to wrap it up. This is what I wanted to basically talk about in this video. Simply by enabling AMD software solutions like FSR and stuff, you can greatly boost your gaming performance on your existing PC setup without any extra investment. I hope you all got to know about these useful features and how they work as well. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.